On Tuesdays, we reveal the winner of a $2,000 grant for a deserving charity working to make things better here. Tonight, $2,000 from Upstate Shredding and Adam and Clover Weitzman to a collective effort to nourish people. It all started with the beans and the fact that in so many food banks or food pantries, they are so often left behind. And people don't tend to take the the uncooked beans because not because they don't like them, but because they don't necessarily know how to cook them. And I thought I can teach people how to do that and I'll give everybody a soup pot, you know, so I called my friends. Jane Marie Law started a mutual aid society of soup back in February. A pandemic born charity that delivers a recipe and ingredients weekly to 47 families. No longer would financial struggle mean missing out on one of the bright spots of the COVID era. If you were really low income and you didn't have good cooking utensils and you didn't have good ingredients and you didn't have any skills, that cultural wave, the, the positive side of the pandemic where people stayed home and made sourdough bread or made fancy recipes, that passed you by. And yet it's a, it was a really powerful moment in the pandemic that people reconnected with cooking their own food. And she says it's drawing families together, sometimes putting children front and center in the creation of a meal for the first time in their lives. All of the people who are in this program really know how to cook. They know how to cook soups beautifully. And they post pictures of them and they're beautiful and their kids are cooking with them. If you have a child cooking in the kitchen with a parent or a grandparent, or a caregiver, you change that child's life and you change their relationship to food. Tonight, $2,000 from Upstate Shredding and Adam and Clover Weitzman to Operation Soup Pot Love. So far, generous donors have stepped up with quality soup pots, aprons, and more. You can learn more about the organization and how you might help. Search Operation Soup Pot Love on Facebook.